Cancers! What's popping water, babies? What's going on in the life of a cancer? Between now, oh, I'm sorry, the 15th and the 30th of September. Are y'all healing? Are y'all been accepting? Who we jumping karmic hurdles? We jumping off the hickory dickory dot clock? Are we doing that? <laughs> Welcome to Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing, yo, I may cuss a little, I may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing does not work for you, boo, no disrespect. I ain't even mad at you. This ain't your channel, okay? Um, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family. Family, you know, we a little dysfunctional up in here. We may cry from time to time. We don't fuss. We don't fight. We leave that shit on other people's channel because we don't do that up in here. But we do evolve. We grow. We uplift. We enlighten. And we glow. What do you mean? It's win, 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 win. That's what we do here, okay? So, <laughs> welcome to the family. To all of my old subscribers. Y'all, we hit 5K. Did we? This girl hit 5K. Y'all know I cried, don't you? <laughs> yes, I did. Because y'all, through this journey, this has been a journey for me as well. And I wouldn't be able to share my life if you guys didn't make it possible. So I thank you so much from a very humble space. Thank you, y'all. Thank you. It's been hella quite the evolution. All my towel moments, I just was bringing y'all love through them. And everything just worked out the way I needed it to and the way that we needed it to. I was able to shine my light, get a lot of you through situations myself, give you clarity, actually shine my light and give the enlightenment that I had to live through experience. So thank y'all. Okay, y'all are truly my family, and I can't thank y'all enough for being a part of this journey with me. I'm not gonna cry. Thank you. Okay, this is just general. It's not a personal. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. Speaking of personals, I have a ten dollar, ten minute, one question reading. Y'all, it will be ending on the fifteenth of September. So get it in, get it in, bring them in, bring that one question. I'm going to give you clarity, a lot of love, a little guidance, and we're going to keep it pushing, all right? And so that's going to end forever, ever, forever, ever after the fifteenth. So if you have not gotten it, you have not spoken to me before. I also can do video readings. I prefer to do phone readings. I hate email questions i'm more personable but whatever um if you do have to get an email reading just let me know that's possible as well okay so we rock it the uh the, of course you know the first uh, message that i have for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross washers for the sign of cancer from the 15th to the 30th of september the first message comes from our crystal angels oracle cards about the ring virtue okay so the message that wants to jump out a few times hop all over the damn table and just come out and just be all over the place for cancer was paradox says life lessons you can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing that they contain. Okay, so it's not what happened; it's what you learn from it in order to be accepting of your blessing to come. Okay, one second. This thing here got me all off. You know, I, you know, I don't, I don't change up angel messages. I feel like they came out for a reason, so I don't, you know, I just kind of give my own enlightenment of it, but I don't switch up the angel message. So here we rock it. This card is reassurance that the challenges that you're experiencing brings you valuable life lessons. Upsetting situations aren't tests. They're experiences that help us learn truths about ourselves and others. If you keep experiencing recurring patterns, the key to breaking free from these negative cycles is to understand the lesson that they offer you. For instance, a series of negative relationships could be an opportunity for you to look at your levels of self-esteem. Are you settling for unhealthy relationships because of the feeling that you can't have a healthy partnership? Similar insights can heal negative patterns related to your career, your health, and your other life areas. Ask God to reveal the underlying lesson within a troubling situation. Be open to seeing the role that you may have played in accepting these patterns. The intent is not to blame yourself, but to assume responsibility for your part as a way of empowering you to take charge of the pattern and not allow it to continue with God's help, of course. Okay, so it's not you that you that needs to control the outcome or the circumstance or feel like, well, I was stupid. Well, maybe that they played me. No, it's not for you to feel like that. It's for you to learn because I feel like if you just really reassess to understand that that one situation, you've seen that same spirit on many different faces because it's something that you have to come to terms with regarding that cycle in your life, cancers. Okay, so we rocking, Mother Gaia. I feel like during this time a lot of y'all may be uh healing father issues with your father or your child's father during this time okay i do see that it was destined to happen this way you had to learn how to navigate yourself 
Okay, navigate your spirit. Turn your pain, baby, into power. If you ain't went through it, how the hell can you uplift somebody else? Both of y'all are spiritual teachers. You're spiritual leaders. You find yourself being empaths and you find yourself being some type of guidance in other people's lives on what to go, what to do, some type of guidance to people. Your friends, most of y'all have most of your friends that come to you all the time. You have all the eight, nine people over there. You know me when you need some. I, I need to talk to you. This is I, I need advice. And it was destined for things to be that way. But how can you help somebody else with some shit you really can't feel them on? Because cancer is the I feel. Okay? So with I feel, I will. I will understand that I had to go through this in order to really feel where people are coming from. In order to help them through and, and navigate them through their issues. Because that's the impact that I came here to be. During this time, a lot of y'all are healing. Possibly from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person was just used as a catalyst to make you see the lesson. OK, in the blessing that's to come, you have to heal these things within yourself. So a lot of y'all are healing yourself during this time. Your third eye is going to be popping. And also your intuition is very, very, very heightened. Respect what you feel and trust what you feel during this mid month, babies. Um, some of y'all could be dealing with someone or will be dealing with someone that's very, very, very intuitive. Cancer, this could also be you during this time. They're needing you. Some of y'all could be also getting headaches and receiving some form of like, uh, your glands hurting. I've seen this for Aries too. Some of y'all could have Aries in your chart. Your glands, your glands, um, I don't know exactly what they're called, but up in here and like pressures up in here, baby, a lot of y'all third eye is pouring and it's opening at a fast rate. And a lot of y'all sighting the way that you see things is getting ready to change during this mid month of September. Do not allow it to scare you. Stay meditative. Stay, uh, I'm seeing uh, with a lot of y'all, y'all pineal gland as well as the heart chakra. And y'all throat chakra, make sure that you respect you respect your feelings during this time and communicate honestly, truthfully to yourself first. And then project that onto others because your intuition is right. No matter how crazy people think you are, you're right. Trust yourself. OK, I do see a lot of y'all will be <laughs> taking extra time and loving yourself. OK, actually seeing your thoughts and not not living in a place of like, oh, my God, I be like I said, I've been stupid or I've been dumb or anything like that. But you're actually learning from it. It's helping you to balance your body and your mind to help you stop moving from just simply your emotions in the situation. Don't move simply with your emotions, but to use your mind, use your logic, because. For some of y'all, you're attracting people who you've seen before. You've seen this spirit before. Trust what you feel because your feelings will not lead you wrong during this time. Some of y'all could also be receiving communication during this time, possibly from an Aries, another Cancer like yourself, um, a Libra or a Capricorn. OK, you can receive messages possibly. And this this communication, I feel like you're not going to like it. It's going to be something that you can hear possibly through, through, through conversation. OK, but someone in the past. Possibly an air sign, okay, as well. This, the e Libra energy we could also be a Taurus as well. Um, they could have left you feeling indecisive or feeling feeling like you didn't have clarity on the situation. Maybe they told you that they were going to focus on focus on their money, okay, and try to move forward victoriously and go into another cycle of their life. Because I feel like with some of y'all and y'all relationships and people that you had to let go, a lot of it had to do with finances. I feel like some of y'all had a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius move away from y'all. OK, and this person, this oh goodness, this person that you moved away some during this time, you could also be moving away from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It has to be it has to do with there not being an equal level of give and take. You feel like I give, 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 give. And I feel like this is what you've done in many of your relationships, Cancer. Stop giving all of you to the point where there is nothing left for yourself because these people are leaving you depleted. And you are feeling like, well, what about me? Drop those burdens, baby. During this time, y'all are going to be dropping those burdens, okay? Some of y'all had a fire sign in your life. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person, you give, give, give. You receive nothing for this person to move away from somebody who they thought was the one. And it's always a different one. And it's always the one is always somebody who treat them like shit. And then here they come back to you. Nurture me back up to wholeness. And then I'm a dip. That cycle of your life has to end. Okay. It's time for you to walk into a new cycle and be victorious. You see this woman? She's being praised and exhilarated, but she's by herself. Okay. It's not oh it's not bad. It's not a bad thing to be by yourself. Some of y'all are having to make a judgment call. Uh, possibly regarding somebody, uh, another water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, okay, who makes you feel this person makes you feel straight up rejected. They make you feel like you're a choice and not the option. 
Okay, or I'm sorry, they make you feel like an option and not the choice. Okay, but I feel like you're just moving away from this person. I, I've had enough. I'm done with this shit. Because only thing I have is love for some of y'all, it's a Pisces. Okay, for some of y'all, if you, uh, for Pisces left you in the past, this person is going to be coming back. Okay, because I feel like that more so has to do with finances. However, this person may come back in the same toxic ass state. Okay, this person may come back. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all don't know what if it's water, this water sign that you're going to be dealing with during this time, you're going to see because the mind's going to work differently that this person holds on to you and they hold on to you through your emotion, through your emotional guilt through emotional guilt well you wasn't there for me when i went through this and you wasn't there for me with this this baby i'm not god things was going on in my life as well so i'm supposed to be there for you but every time i need you to be there for me you would know where to be found you out here having secrets and shit for some of y'all who are dealing with a pisces or a scorpio there is going to be truth illuminated onto why these people left you with no clarity it's going to have to do with them juggling you yourself and another earth sign for some of y'all is Taurus, and for some of you you're going to find out that this person could have had like a secret pregnancy. They could have been pregnant when they left, but it possibly wasn't your child. You're going to also find out for some of y'all during this time that somebody who was indecisive with you, this could have been an air sign or another, or it could have also been an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. This could also have been a fire, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, fire sign as well as water. It's, everybody's here, okay? But I do see somebody was not giving you the, making you an option, I'm sorry, a choice. They were making you an option because they were already indecisive on whether to deal with you. Let me show you. Rather to juggle you and deal with you. Okay. Even though they were on top. They were straight. They was good. They straight. But they sit in indecision mode. They're not communicating. Them swords behind their back. So they didn't give you no clear communication because they were tied to a family situation. Or they weren't giving you a clear communication about a family situation. But some of y'all going to find out that somebody who told you that they left their wifey, they got a baby on the way. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. Yeah, for some of y'all, it's going to leave you feeling betrayed. How fucking dare you? It was me who did. It was me. It was me who loved you through it. It was me, but cancer. If you're giving, 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 giving what's left for yourself. And during this time, a lot of y'all are going to be in this meditative state. You're going to just be in a state of, <clears throat> I'm going to be the only choice. But I'm going to choose myself to put to make me the only choice. So these motherfuckers coming in my life, I can lead by example. Okay? Because for some of y'all, some of y'all have a Taurus in your life. Some of y'all could be married to a Taurus. And there is love there, but there's not honest communication. You're going to find that out. Some of y'all could also actually be kind of in conflict about if you want to continue and move forward possibly out of an engagement uh into marriage some of y'all are really just kind of contemplating marriage in general like i love you do we have to have a title right now because i'm just really learning to love myself and hear your ass come offer me this new 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 trying to throw new 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 some of y'all have a leo trying to hold on to you through finances Okay, or you trying to hold on to a Leo through finances, Cancer. I see this could also be you. I also see some of y'all are wanting to hold on, okay, to someone after you see them moving in a period of newness because they y'all you guys' relationship was toxic. So you feeling like how the hell can you get that person that and I wanted that from you because it was destined, baby. It was destined for you to find your own way. It was destined for you to find yourself so that the lover that is for you can easily find you. Okay? Okay? Some of y'all, this love starts from internally. And for some of y'all, y'all loving people who have a hard time making a decision. There is you. There is another. There is two. Trust your intuition because it's on the money. For those of you who have been charging somebody up, hey, I know you're talking to somebody. And they making you feel like a crazy woman or a crazy man. No, you're not crazy, baby. You on the fucking money. Okay? Especially if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Okay? During this time, some of y'all could definitely find out that an Aquarius is juggling or not really giving you the love that you deserve. They're not giving an equal give and take when it comes to love. And it's making you feel like this cancer. Get out of this energy. Who not sleeping? For why? For what? For for, for behind what? Girl, look. Miss, look. <laughs> Ain't no damn way I'm finna miss my sleep for no. I don't want to be a bag lady. I'm going to hurt my back. You're going to hurt your back, honey, dragging out a bag like that. Cut it out. Because if you just let go 
and move forward victoriously for some of you by yourself and just trust the process, baby. And trust that God is working for you, not against you, especially when dealing with fire, because some of y'all want to move forward with fire signs so bad. But God got your blessing coming in the form of an earth sign. Okay? Some of y'all want to make it work with your air signs so bad. But God used the catalyst to make you be receiving to love in the form of a water sign. To make you push through and trust the process and be open, be open and receiving to receiving that love again. Some of y'all had given up in your marriages because they're toxic, but why sign the paper to get married and sign for and to death do us part of you ain't really about their life. You gotta be true to yourself, or if somebody else ain't about their life, then why should you hold up your damn years? If you have tried and exhausted everything in you to make that work, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to be miserable in the marriage. That's not who the hell I am. I work for God, not for what man wants me to say. No. Okay? But some of y'all, if you just trust the process, you're going to end this cycle. With this world card being number 21, it's the number three, expansion. Some of y'all have newness coming in the form of children as well, especially if you're dealing with Leo, Capricorn, Pisces. Taurus, if only you trust the process and trust that being alone is a great look, especially for y'all financially, because I feel like some of y'all are holding on to everything that you have. Some of you are going to get that message coming through from this fire sign, strong emphasis on Aries, okay? Possibly about a new beginning with Cancer. For some of you, you you're going to be able to move forward with this person. If it's a Sagittarius... This person is still coming back with this energy. You know why? Because they're a past life soulmate. Okay? For some of y'all, it's a Scorpio. If they're a past life soulmate, the death card deals with Pluto. Past life, reincarnation. You see these skeletons coming out there, a past life soulmate. And they're, they're sent here to be in this energy with you. It's destined, baby, so that you can nurture yourself. You can water your own damn grass. Amethyst is going to be a very powerful stone for you during this time to ground your to ground your emotions and ground yourself and also trust your intuition, okay? You have to nurture your own damn grass. Ground yourself. Find the love within yourself, baby. For some of y'all to attract your nine of cups. The genie is trying to answer your prayers. God trying to ask, trying to answer your wishes. God trying to answer your prayers, but you're standing in your own way, living in the energy of what 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 once was or why this person did that to me. If you're gonna take this approach, some of y'all dealing with a Virgo. If you're gonna take this approach, okay, and go on this little pull back, make sure that you can actually see the light at the end of the tunnel, baby. Because for some of y'all, it's your ten of pentacles. It's your ten of pentacles, but it had to happen. It had to happen. It had for some of y'all to even move toward this, okay? It's having this Ten of Pentacles, happy wife, happy life, in order to move to this. You had to, it was destined. Destiny. It was destiny. Because God knows the plan before we do. So it was destiny for you to go through this third party situation, for you to see the beauty, baby, the beauty, honey, within yourself. And to really see. Your soulmate. For some of y'all, it's a Gemini. For some of y'all, your twin flame put you in a third party situation. You put your twin flame in a third party situation and made him leave. But it wasn't saying, oh my goodness, oh, I got to make a video about that twin flame journey because y'all really need to know the truth about that. Everybody as a whole. But for some of y'all, you had to go through this with a divine partner because some of y'all have codependent issues and don't want to let go. But if you let go and let God do God's job, baby. It's just beautiful on the other side. For some of you during this time, you're going to be reuniting with either a Leo Aries Sagittarius or a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Strong emphasis on the Cappies. But this person is going to bring stability, expansion into your life. And it was written that way. If only you just trust the process. Okay? I love y'all very much. Y'all comment, like, share. Let me know what I'm. Let me know what's popping. Okay. I love y'all, my babies. Until the first of the month, I pick a card or um, possibly a live reading because I really been wanting to go live lately. I see y'all next time. Two Libus. Y'all better heal and choose yourself. I love y'all.